to our show. Uh, looks a little dark on there, but I don't know. It'll be fine on the canvas when we get to it. Catherine is going to come on in just a little bit after the show uh, and talk to you about our e-course and what's happening. And oh boy, I tell you out there, we're getting orders coming in. We, we're just so happy for you guys that are, are joining in on our e-course and, and help to uh, support us out there. We really really appreciate it so don't go away when the show ends because Catherine's going to come on and talk to you more about just what's happening with the e-course oh boy we got we got noise coming in anyway <laughs> oh and Catherine's going to be looking at the monitor and talking to you guys about uh, answering your questions as they as they come in Okay, let's take a look at the canvas up here. By the way, our e-course, all the videos are going to be high tech and not like this because I'm just using my little camera and my little mic here. So uh, don't don't judge the quality of this by what's going to be on our e-course. Anyway, look the canvas. Let's talk. This is going to be cool. <laughs> I know it's different, isn't it? I've got gold leaf on here. I've got a border that's crazy with stuff. I'm going to talk to you about everything I'm doing so that uh, I don't skip past anything on here. I do have a, a, a painting that I had done before. I'm going to show that to you. There it is right here. And this is what I'll be using uh, to uh, as a guide uh, for, I might do some other stuff. I'll probably get into some lilacs, I think, up in through here. But remember, there's a border on here. <laughs> so uh, this, this is so cool. Let me tell you why. Because you can take any painting, just say you guys do this. You can, hey Corey, how you doing? You could take this border and put anything in the middle that you want. Now, a lot of you have already signed up for our e-course and you'll see flowers with vases and all kinds of cool stuff. Now say you do this part and you look at our, our e-course uh, videos on there and you can take any of the sunflowers that I show you how to paint. Those could go in here. Roses can go in here, which we're going to do today. Uh, what else? We have lilacs. We have all kinds of sunflowers you could put in. I could see sunflowers in here. It'd be really cool. But just using this border. Yeah, now let's talk about the border. Because you say, well, that's nice, but how do you do all that stuff? First of all, I took a, a ruler and... This oh, boy, we got, we got noise coming in. Anyway. <laughs> oh, and Catherine's going to be looking at the monitor and talking to you guys about uh, answering your questions as they as they come in. Okay, let's take a look at the canvas up here. By the way, our e-course, all the videos are going to be high tech and not like this because I'm just using my little camera and my little mic here. So uh, don't don't judge the quality of this by what's going to be on our e-course. Anyway, look the canvas. Let's talk. This is going to be cool. <laughs> I know it's different, isn't it? I've got gold leaf on here. I've got a border that's crazy with stuff. I'm going to talk to you about everything I'm doing so that uh, I don't skip past anything on here. I do have a, a, a painting that I had done before. I'm going to show that to you. There it is right here. And this is what I'll be using uh, to uh, as a guide uh, for, I might do some other stuff. I'll probably get into some lilacs, I think, up in through here. But remember, there's a border on here. <laughs> so uh, this, this is so cool. Let me tell you why. Because you can take any painting, just say you guys do this. You could, hey Corey, how you doing? You could take this border and put anything in the middle that you want. Now, 
A lot of you have already signed up for our e-course and you'll see flowers with vases and all kinds of cool stuff. Now say you do this part and you look at our, our e-course uh, videos on there and you can take any of the sunflowers that I show you how to paint. Those could go in here. Roses can go in here, which we're going to do today. Uh, what else? We have lilacs. We have all kinds of sunflowers you could put in. I could see sunflowers in here. It'd be really cool. But just using this border. Yeah, now let's talk about the border. Because you say, well, that's nice, but how do you do all that stuff? <laughs> First of all, I took a, a ruler, and this is about, I'd say, two and a half inches over, and drew a line down, and then I took some masking tape, masking, good old masking tape, and taped, the tape is on this side of the line, and the tape is on this side of the line. No, yeah, this side of the line. And then I took some dark green and just painted in with acrylic dark green over the whole thing. Then once it's dry, I just take off the tape. And then once this is dry, and I retape it and then put the black in on the, on the border. Then once that's dry, <laughs> I went in. Now this is kind of crazy because I was doing this, oh, from Sweden. Hi there, Petra. I took one Petra. of these, Petra, I took one of these, this was, I found on the table, Catherine had been using this on our e-course to show you guys how to do gold leafing and stuff. And I just used this and took some red, just because I didn't want a, a hard design showing, just kind of a feeling, and I just went through and rubbed some red paint on each side. It's really, you could take any one of these designs. And then... I went in with some gold leaf. This is now. This is called uh, what do you call this gold leaf? It's imitation. Variegated. Variegated. Oh, that's variegated. Variegated yeah. imitation gold leaf. See the design in there? There is a design. To the camera, maybe. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. There you go. Can yeah, you see design. that? Really cool stuff. Very important that you use imitation. Uh, because the real stuff is too expensive. Geez, the real stuff, you could buy a car. <laughs> anyway, I put that on. Oh, before you do that, you need sizing. Sizing. This stuff here, is, uh, you just put on uh, with a little brush, wherever you want your gold to go. Let it dry, because it dries sticky. On the online course, I show how to put gold leaf and embossing. Yeah. Can you hear Catherine? I I show you where to uh, how to put gold leaf on, and embossing and different borders on the online course. Mm -hmm. So once that's on, no, I leave a irregular edge here. Don't leave a sharp edge. Mm -hmm. uh, bring them on. Okay, is everything coming through for you out there? Somebody says it's bring them on camera. What does that mean? I have no idea. Uh, okay. Then, when I gold leafed, uh, some of this red that I put on with oil paint through the, uh, this pattern that we had here uh, was still wet, so some of the gold kind of got in there. And I thought, well, that's kind of neat to have some of the gold showing. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Oh, Maura Jenkins Miller. Huh. <laughs> All kind of, this technology, I just love it. I could just sit here and not paint and watch, <laughs> watch you guys just coming through with your questions and answering. Anthony, audio and video is great. Thanks, Anthony. It's good to know. Anthony does his own show, and you know Anthony. Online. Yeah, uh, Anthony does his own thing online, and you never know if the audio is coming through to you guys or the video is coming through. So, uh, Anthony, I appreciate that. Now, let's see what we're going to do. Oh. First, I want to show you my palette. My palette is loaded up. <laughs> you can see it up here. Well, maybe I'll put it down here and uh, let's just turn the camera down so you can see my palette. There you go. Now, I'm, I'm going to name off these colors for you. Now, I always put out more paint than I need. And this is good old oil paint, guys. This is Thalo Red Rose. Cad Yellow Medium, Alizarin Crimson, Burt Sienna, Cad Red Light, Beautiful Red, Black, 
Uh, what is that? Chromoxide green, mm -hmm. cadmium orange, Zzz, oh, titanium white, sap green, another yellow, cad yellow light, phthalo yellow green, turquoise, mauve, purple, violet, ochre, and boom, we got that done. And, we're, and leave yourself room in the middle to uh, mix because if you don't, uh, your colors can get muddy on you. Okay, let's start in. Now, oh, let's look at the painting I'm working from. This is one I worked up some time ago. Take a look at it. You can see we have a yellow rose, a red rose, and down here, a little leafy stuff, which it kind of just blends out into nothing. Some drippies. We might do some drippies on here. And come on on up and all kinds of stuff up here. Okay, now let's get back on my canvas and let's let her rip. <laughs> okay, let's see what we're gonna do. We have to take some ochre. Oh, I'm using just a little half inch brush here. Let's take some ochre. And I'm gonna find where we're gonna have a rose, oh, someplace in here. Notice how loosey-goosey, very loose. Then I'm going to take a little of our, let's take some phthalo red rose, and we'll have a little red. Yowie. It's going to be a red rose down here. Now, the reason I'm sketching this in is so that I don't get a lot of greens and stuff that will muddy up my color. The background is dry. Yeah, the yeah. background is dry, Catherine. Well on it, huh? Yeah, I didn't put anything on there, no, none of that. Just stuff on there. This is uh, yellow, that little yellow green, half inch brush, turp. I'm just using plain turp. No linseed in there, no nothing. Now, the majority of the folks out there that are painting, it doesn't matter what you're painting, landscapes, whatever, what you're having issues with is the brushwork. You put your paint on this way, or this way, or you'll use a big brush and go and start doing this, which gives you more of a stencily look. This is more of a, almost looks like leaves, and we haven't done anything yet. That's the reason, that's what you want. Let's take some sap green, who knows, and some purple. Now. I, you're going to see today on this lesson the process, the thinking that goes into doing a painting. We're not going to be painting flowers. <laughs> we are, but we're not. But we are, but we're not. What we're going to be painting is just a feeling of a rose. Oh, look at that. Look. A feeling of, 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 of uh, lilacs that'll be going in. A feeling. So don't think flower. Now, that's going to sound a little crazy to you guys. But it all starts in the mind. How you think. I'm going to have some buds. We're going to come up over that gold cut into it. So the gold will c come in behind. Now, you see the how this is very important. What we're doing here is we're dancing with paint. We're dancing. We're dancing. This isn't straight. Look at the flow. Look at the curve. I look for an S curve. We start maybe up here, comes on down, and then picks up down. Yes. You see how the brush is flowing? Do you like to dance? That's what we're doing. Except right now, it's more of a waltz. We're waltzing through it. Pretty soon, we will do the jitterbug. We're jitterbugging, yes. But you can't jitterbug all over, it gets too busy. Yes. Blue, what's blue? Oh, turquoise, what's that gonna do? Always ask yourself, 
What will this color do? What will that color do? Violet. What's that? What's Violet going to do? What are you doing, Violet? Violet's kind of kind of quiet. But you see, again, again, you guys out there, I'm if you just watch the brushwork, that's a, this way, this way, this way, almost like overlapping X's. Paint like you don't care. And your paintings will be perfect for you. Here's some mauve. Mauve, mauve and white. What's that going? To, oh, but look at the brushwork. Look how I'm dancing. Oh, I went right over my rose. Ah, ah. <laughs> yes. Can you see the color? But we want a zinger in there. Let's take some white and hit it. Bam! Look at that color. Look at it jumping. Can you see the passion? Yes. <laughs> I know, you guys. I know. Wow. Who else? Oh, Rita. Hey, Rita. Look at... Bam. And this is nothing but an abstract. It's just, okay, what is an abstract? It's just color. But look how I'm dancing around. The stem coming down got lost. So we'll take some green. It doesn't matter, green and purple. And look how I'm cutting in front. And, and as soon as you come in front, it, pushed, it just pushes that color back behind. <laughs> Gary Jenkins, we are doing fine. Christine, busy, busy. <laughs> Oh, you're answering them? Oh, Kathy's, oh, Kathy's on the uh, iPad next yeah. to me answering your questions. Zowie. There we go. Technology again. Bring. Look at this. Okay. Let's take yellow ochre. I went over my flower here. And I'm going to find all this is done with a half inch. I'm going to find. I don't care what's happening inside. It's the outside that I care about. Now, it's winter time here in good old Sedona, Arizona. So my roses are not blooming. I want to get in front of you here for a minute and show you something. Kathy is the camera person. And she takes all these wonderful pictures of roses. There's one there. You must have good reference material. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Oh, leaves. Sometimes I'll just go out and take pictures of leaves. If you can do the, the real thing, bring the real thing in and put a light on. Look at this bud. Is that... Is that beautiful? Look at that thing. <laughs> That's so neat. What else do we? Oh, white. Here's some white. White's great to paint. Look at that. Yeah. Again, folks, reference material. Reference. Somebody emailed me and said, what is reference material? There it is, guys. That's reference. And here's my one of my favorites. I painted this one on a 30 by 40. Big one. Yeah. Hmm. Now, now, oh. Le okay, we got that in. Let's take a little more of our purple color and find that in the middle. Maybe a little more purple. Or That's actually mauve, isn't it? I'm going to brush it out. Maybe we'll find, let's take a little of that and find down here. Can you see I haven't done anything? And can you see how that looks like a rose already? It just shows you the beauty of being. Hey, look who's coming, Mary Jane, how are you? Look at this. We haven't done anything, but it's the outside here that tells me that it's a rose. I'm gonna take some of my 
alizarin crimson. I'm going to put a touch of green with it. Not a lot. Just to darken it up. And that's going to go down here. So I'm going to find both my roses. Don't make it too wet. And again, you're going to hear me telling you guys about just painting a feeling. The problem with folks when they try to do roses, they look at a rose, and I don't blame you, because when you look at a photo, let's look at a photo here. Let's look at this photo. What do you see? You see all these petals. And you try to paint each and every one of those petals, and what happens? It gets busy, it gets muddy, it get, you get frustrated, and you say, I don't want to do this, it's too hard. Well, you, that's because you're making it too hard. So I'm going to take a little more red. And again, it's the outside edge I care about. <laughs> if I went in there with my Actually, this is Thalo Red Rose. I'm going to put a little orange with it. Now watch how I go into this red one. And I'm not going to paint every single petal. This is so important, guys. And you can do it. Watch it. Now, there's a lot of foreshortening going on in here, too. Watch. Boom, 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 boom. Sometimes I'm just using the flat. Sometimes I'm just kind of hitting here and there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Some of them come straight across. Study a rose. See it? Can you see it happening? Can you see that? Maybe this drops down a little lower. Oh, now. Our light's coming down from the top. I'll take a little more. Let's take a little more orange, just a touch of white, not too much. Oh, 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 honey. <laughs> yes. Can you see? And you put this on a little bit drier than the paint underneath so it sticks. Do I need a lot of petals over here? No. Hey, Phil Jenkins, mm -hmm. how you doing out there? And side, side. Now, if I don't want these, I want a feeling of petals, but I don't want them to come out too much because they're on the dark side. So I don't push down. When I don't push down, I don't put as much paint down. Can you see it? You can do this, but no. You, you sit down and you say, I know, you look at these petals and, the, and your photo or the real rose and you see a lot. You see too much. <laughs> yes. Maybe a little shot here. Boom. Cadmium orange, sailor red rose. Ah, look at that touch. Can you see that? Boom. Look at the strength in a stroke. You don't go in and nag it, nag it, nag it. Put it on and leave it. Not that everything you do is you can leave, you can't. Oh. <laughs> okay, here's, I'm gonna bring a petal out here. Now, you, it, it, when you're doing your thing and just showing little indications, you have to go in and just actually paint in at least a few, maybe one or two. So that looks pretty good. Now, because we're doing this, and we're not, we're not uh, putting a lot of detail in this area, our eye won't stay down there. Our eye won't stay where there's not that much to look at. I want a little more. Bam. <laughs> look at the strength. Bam. Boom. Bam. Boom. 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 Paint. 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 Have some faith in yourself. You tell them these are really impressionistic roses. Yeah. Uh, no, these are not tight. Though Catherine does some beautiful tight stuff, which is fine. Uh, this is just, that's a good question. This is just a style. 
I used to paint real tight. And then I said, I woke up one morning, I, I said, I'm working too hard. And I started doing this loose stuff. And the painting started to sell and to move. Why? I said, why? I asked myself, why? You know, artists, when you're painting, we're all so full of insecurities. Yes, insecurities. I don't care who you are. I don't care how many books you've written, if you're on TV, and blah, 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 what you've done. We're all still insecure. So look at this. I'm going to put, I'm going a little darker down here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at the green coming in. Whoa. Boy, that's really popping. Now, if we're going to pop in that area, green and yellow mixed together, boom, we have to bring some of that light yellow, phthalo yellow, green, boom, very dry. And I'm going in there in a very loose manner to bring the feeling of light coming up here. And that feeling of light will start to come up here. Maybe there's some leaves. Who cares? It's the color I'm after. Yes. Oh, I see <laughs> I see some blue in here. And what I do uh, is I'll place a color like this. And then I look at it and I say, well, is that neat? Is that cool? Does that work? Maybe some uh, turquoise and, and uh, thalo yellow green. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, <clears throat> look at this. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is interesting. These are complementing colors, green and red. Yes, they are. Whoop, I got a little shot in there. Yes. Oh, that reminds me. Use your finger. Blend some edges out. Look at that. Soften that edge out. Let's take a look at this guy. Ooh, up here. This is the middle tone, guys. Middle tone. Our dark is in there. Maybe we'll get some more of that mauve over here. Oh, I like that mauve. Trust your instinct. Trust yourself. Color, 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 and use reference material. Don't just try, try to paint out of your mind and make stuff up. Because if you make stuff up, what happens? Every single painting you do will look alike. They all look the same. All you do is move some things around, that's all. But basically, it's the same color scheme, and it's this, almost the same composition, except you changed a few things. Reference, reference, reference. OK, let's get in here. And you can, if you're doing landscapes, you can always uh, Take photos, use that. Let's take some uh, yellow and white. Very dry. I want to make a shot on here. And I go, do I like that? Is that a neat color? I go, yeah, well, that's kind of cool. And a lot of this is, I know I go fast, but this stuff has to be done fast. Because you, if, you, if you think of every little stroke, it's going to get too hard. OK, now what you need to do when you're doing this, this loosey-goosey stuff is don't think too much. Very, now, less pressure. Remember I talked about that? Less pressure coming down. Put some uh, medium yellow in that, too. Had you, Catherine, Catherine said, cad yellow medium? Uh, with, the, with the other light yellow. OK. Cad yellow medium. That's pretty. See, the, the, it's a slight difference. The, this cad yellow medium has more orange, and cad yellow light is more yellow. And you can use a combination. Now, vary your strokes. Some are skinny, some are wide. Some, you just use less pressure. Look how I wiggle that brush. Wiggle it, wiggle it. Coming on. <laughs> you have to just play. You have to get up here and make a mess. Because when you start to do this, you will. But at least you're on the way to doing something. Oh, look at that. 
They're doing something that's right. Yeah, I'm not saying that this style of painting is for everybody. It's not. Look at that, how the colors dancing from petal to petal to petal. <laughs> Coming inside. And if you crash and burn, that's okay. I've crashed and burned more than times than I can remember. You crash and burn. Scrape it off and do it again. And if that doesn't work, scrape it off and do it again. And if that, and then keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. And pretty soon, you'll sit down there one day and go, oh, look at that. I'm doing something that that's so cool that I've never done before. Yes. Here I'm thinking more pedal pedal. <laughs> There's no free lunch, guys. And again, I've always said this. The difference between somebody that can paint halfway decent to anything is that they've tried and lost more times than the other person that has simply tried and has given up. That makes sense. I want you guys to be the best. Don't settle for being mediocre. There's plenty of that out there. They're even teaching. I don't understand that. I think maybe most people, they give up, and so they go back to the easy stuff that sort of resembles a flower or whatever you're painting. It sort of resembles this. It sort of resembles that. Oh, look at that. Now I've changed color. I've changed color down below. It's a little, little, a little more purpley. Can you do some drips? Kathy wants me to drippy. With that color? With that blue and green? What, the blue and green? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. purple. I still have this rose. After you finish. So as soon as you throw your colors in, you can go back in and modify it, bring in some more lights and things. Boy, this is where your reference comes in. You need to know how these petals are shaped. And if you, if, if you can get a real rose, find a quiet place with a cup of coffee or some wine, preferably some wine, <laughs> and just hold that rose and look at it. Feel the petals. Become one with the rose. Because you, when you start to paint, whatever, you can become unattached to what you're painting. And so when you become unattached, what happens? There's no feeling, there's no passion. No passion, that sounds familiar. Is that the name of our course, Catherine? <laughs> Yes, we named it that because when you're doing this stuff, you have to have a passion for it. You have to love it. Really love it. If you just paint for money, yes, you probably will make some money at it. But you'll never, ever, ever, never, ever will achieve anything that goes beyond the amateur look because you've got money in your mind on your mind take the money out of it just think of your painting and the quality that you want and you will find something strange happens all of a sudden you wake up and the money's there and you go where did that come from it came from you trying to do the best you can do Am I ranting on Catherine too much? No, but money's good too. <laughs> hmm? The passion and money. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs>
you want to redo the living room. That's why you want the money in there. <laughs> Let's, oh, the drippies. What is that? Do you have a lounging jacket on? No. Here's the drippies, guy. Your, your shirt is just a big suede shirt. Yeah, look at the yeah, drips. Can you drip. see the drips? Yeah, drips added sort of a natural look. And I put it on very wet. But drips aren't for everybody. I know. But some people are out there going, oh, I don't like the drips. I liked it before. Well, don't do the drips. <laughs> you don't have to do them. Put some leaves in there. Do whatever. Just don't be boring. You see people painting flowers or whatever they're painting. And you want to go to sleep looking at it. You know, oh God, it's so boring. People painting flowers all over the place. You don't know what the hell to look at. <laughs> Where am I? Where's the center of interest? Is there, there isn't one. Here, I'm going to bring this up. Look how I just softened that edge by bringing it out. Yeah. I know. Just now, this leave alone. Don't get in to mess with it. We, hey, this is, oh, look at how this is looking with our, uh, our gold and our red on the side. Oh, yeah. What else are we going to do here? We have some lilacs. Lac lilacs. I have, let me turn the camera here and show you. I have this sitting on my table all the time. It has all kinds of flowers in it, tulips, roses, wild, some flowers, I don't even know what they are. We're going to paint these. Lilacs. Yeah, look at that. Cool. So where are we going to put that? Let's find a place. Way up on the top. Get a little closer, maybe. And I'm going to take a color, some mauve. A little touch of turk. You know, I might change brushes. I think I'm going to come down and pick up this brush. It's about, it's, it's a filbert. It's a filbert. What is that? Quarter inch, maybe a little bit larger filbert. All right. Now, let's take a little turp, and this is mauve and a touch of white. Now, this is a really neat color, and I need a base color, mauve. And don't fill it in solid, because we need some openings in there. Painting a grouping of flowers always gives people a problem. Again, again, they are seeing too much. I'm looking at the whole arrangement, not just individual flowers. I'm looking at the shape, leaving some holes in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So much fun. And again, floral painting is all color, color, color. This is mauve and a little touch of white. Oh, yeah. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh, and that same loosey-goosey stroke I've been telling you about is also found up here. Though here we might bring a few of them out a little tighter. Uh -huh. A little more. Let's get a little more white in there. So you build on top. See these little guys going in? Yeah, see it happening. 
way up at the top. And I'm going to take a little red and put with that mauve. Some of these get more of a reddish tint to them. Some of them are just indicating lines. You're just not going to paint the whole thing. Hmm. Here. Hmm. Maybe it says what size brush. Filbert. This is brush? it, Olivia. That's filbert. It's That's a filbert. Mm -hmm. It's and about a synthetic filbert. It's yes. about an eighth. An eighth? Okay. Eight. Now these little guys can be a little more difficult than the than the roses. Now it's the outside shape that's also important. It's important that some of the these and squint your eyes when you look at something. It eliminates a lot of detail. Ah, here we go. Where I'm not showing everything. Then we go on top of that. Let's take phthalo red, rose, and white. Everything is, what if I did this? What if I did that? Oh, yeah, look at that pink. Watch how the, see the light will dance from petal to petal. So we're just getting a feeling. Knock some of these whites down. Uh huh. And there's some stems. Which helps to break it up. See how I come up and I push. Do, 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 do. All right, I want to get a little lighter right in here. Pinkish. And there's actually a lot of blue in there. We're going to take some turquoise white and a little touch of our real pale mauve. You see that cool color? makes a big difference. It's all this subtle stuff. This is why it's important to study even with the silk flowers. Study what's happening in there. A little center, boom, boom, boom. Centers may be a little too centery. Put your center in and the head around it. Let's go in. There's some darks in here. Just to break it up a little. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. And we're going to come down here. Maybe there's another one down that's just sort of hanging around down here. <laughs> Don't you love the mauve? With that kind of yellow rose. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting back looking at it now. You have to sit back and look at stuff. There's these little buds going in. To break it up. Maybe some of those buds are going to come way out here. Break that border up. Maybe put a little color in there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take... Now I'm making this up. I, I do have a painting I'm going by, but it doesn't have these lilacs. So it's important to, to see the thinking, the thinking behind everything. Oh, what else? I see some turquoise and white. 
Oh, somebody help me. <laughs> oh, yes. Here I thought we were almost finished. But wait, wait. Look at this blue going in. Yes. Don't forget the buds. Lots of buds. Buds. Kathy maybe says. Maybe a couple of big leaves. Somewhere. Needs buds. A couple of big leaves somewhere. Where? I don't know. Kathy says big leaves. A couple of big leaves somewhere. And buds. Okay. Big rose buds. And these guys. Oh. Yeah. Again, look how I'm coming over and picking up some of that pink and bring it in to marry these two shapes together. So you don't just have a plump, a, a, a bunch of pinks and mauves and all of a sudden blues and they're all separated. <laughs> Let's take some purple and blue. What is that going to do? Oh, honey, what? Look at that shadow that just went in there. I've been painting a long time. Still amazes me what happens. Look at that happen. And let's make it, so we're putting some color down, but it's got to go someplace. Is it just going to stop? No. Maybe I have a little more over here. Maybe something out here, not too late. See the rhythm, see the flow. Hmm, I don't know. Olivia. Artist, should I say? What is that? Oh, you're answering them? Okay. Kathy's over here answering you guys. Yeah, I like that. Does it have some stems showing? Maybe. This is why I have these silk flowers. Yes, just so the stems coming through help to break everything up. Coming up to the top. Oh, wait. I want that. I'm going to take some mauve and blue. Because I have a feeling I want this to, to come up and get lost up here. Get lost. Get lost. Look at it. I'm, I'm pulling it in down. Ah, so I have this flow. <laughs> and come through here. Break up the blue with some darks a little bit. Hmm? Break up the blue mass with some darks somewhere. Either dark blues or greens or something, or stems or something. Where? The blues, the blue mass. These? Mm -hmm. Do break what? It, break it up a little with some darks in between or something. Oh, in between. Dark blues or dark greens or something. Or to break it up? The leaves. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to do the stock flower on top in the bud. Oh, these stocky things? Mm -hmm. You like those? Mm -hmm. They can come up over those blue ones, just by, you know, coming up over to break the blue up. Kind of give it more of a natural look. Well, let's take a look at the painting, see what Kathy's talking about. You see these stocky? She says, well, put some of these in. Okie dokie. <laughs> Look at all the buds in there. We need to get some of those in there too. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty. Somebody's asking about the broken pattern. You mind? Are you answering her? This is sort of a stocky, pinky flower going on up. Oh, it has some. First of all, you have to put the little stems coming out. Little stems, Oop, maybe a little bit lighter to give it more of a natural look. 
Pay attention to the little stuff, guys. You notice how we're not using big brushes. And the style of painting, big brushes will get you in trouble. Big brushes have a tendency to eliminate detail. And a lot of your easy paintings that you see, landscapes, whatever, they've taken all the mystery out of the painting and broken it down to where it's just bare bone, no feeling paintings. Don't do that. Let's take some crimson. There's a beautiful bud up here. And it's a fat bud. Oh, you guys, I want you to experience what it's like to be creative. Don't take the easy way out. Boy, look at that color. Red. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Look at that. See the stroke, how I'm varying it around because buds have a lot of texture. And so by doing, twisting this brush, twisting the brush, twisting it like this, twisting it, twisting it, it gives you all this little stuff. Just hold on to the brush and twist away. <laughs> That's how you get this thing, these things happening. If you control every little thing, it, it comes out too contrived cartoony. <laughs> Look at that bud. Boy, that, that little light is sort of popping up there, isn't it? Maybe tone it down a little bit. But again, that brush is twisting and turning. I see a little blue. Turquoise, touch of white. won't be blue anymore. Well, it is. But with all that warm color, a little touch of reflected light is kind of neat. And we're going to take... There's a little bit of that rose that comes out the other side. Yes. And then there's some green. Say the yellow green, a little yellow. Start up here and then flatten out and wiggle. Maybe you want a little bit lighter. Yes. And it comes out flat and comes up and you turn. Oh, yeah. You see that? Don't rush through it. It's this little stuff that makes your painting. Flat, and then turn up to the tip. And don't make them both the same so on a mirror image. Boring. Look at nature. You know, if you want to hide something, where do you hide it? You hide it right out in front of everybody. And that's what nature has done. The secret to painting is hidden in front of you. If you just will learn to see. <laughs> Valerie Stewart's watching. Hmm? She must be in Vegas now. Who's watching? Valerie. Val. Here's some leaves coming out. Yeah. Over the top. <sighs> Look at the stuff in there. It makes it so much fun to do. Oh, that pink. <laughs> Got it. Sidetracked. There's little things coming off here. What kind of flower is that, this little guy? Those little stalks? I don't know. They're kind of, they're kind of like delphiniums, but um, I don't think delphiniums come in pink. Maybe they do. I'm not sure. They're not as full as delphiniums, but sort of. They're just a stalk flower. Mm, it kind of gives a nice feeling of height. Mm -hmm. 
and it comes down and slowly gets lost down below into just a feeling of maybe there's some larger flowers. Who cares? It's just a feeling. You're going to hear me, I'll sound like a broken record. <laughs> feeling. So we went on. That's all I'm asking for. That's not asking too much. Feeling. There's another. Just an indication. Our blue flowers. They're still kind of there. They're kind of, kind of there. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe just a feeling of some little wild leaves coming in here. Again, we, um, these leaves I'm putting in are kind of a grouping because I didn't want to bring too much detail out in this area. Maybe a lighter leaf. Again, very loosey-goosey. Is this painting going to be for sale? Yeah, yeah. we could. Okay. Let's help people. Hmm? Let's help people. Hmm. Kathy wants me to... Um, this painting will be for sale. Tell you it's going to be for sale. What size is this? I don't even know. This is, I think it's 1620. 1620, I think. And, yeah, unframed. It's pretty. It's pretty yeah, well, how much? Don't know. I don't know either. Okay, somebody out there, email me. Make me an offer. Are you going to make another uh, small bed up there? Where? Right to the right of that. Um, there's a stem coming out to the right of the other bud. See the other, up top? See the stem to the right? Yeah. So right in there? there? Small bud oh, there. I see it. Small bud there. Gee. Well, let's go in there and get a little guy going in there. Very dry, so it sticks. Very dry. Notice I have dark, I have a light, and now I'm going to take some cadred light right in there as a, a bridge between the dark and the light, and I just pull them together with that nervous stroke. And I'm going to put green, phthalo yellow, green, and some sap together. Instead of coming right up like this, I'm going to come out with a stem that comes up, around, and then up. Can you see that? <laughs> Almost. Let's make it darker. Yes. Oh, honey, let's take a little lighter green up in here. Maybe another one back in there. Hmm. 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 Yes, this recording will be posted. I, we usually leave these up for a while so that you can view them anytime you want. Let's see, we need a little more Finishing a painting up, how do you know when a painting is finished? Well, I'll tell you, you never know. Many times I've posted paintings up that I thought were finished and I'll see them up there and I go, because it makes them a little smaller, and I go, oh no, it needs this or it needs that. Zowie. So I always tell people, how do you know? You just stop at a good place. Because many times you figure, oh, it needs this, it needs that. And, what, and you end up overworking it. Because there you are, that's our insecurities coming in. You're always afraid. 
Oh boy. If I do this, if I do these drippies, nobody's going to like me. <laughs> you know, if you try to please everybody, forget it. You go nuts. It's not going to happen. Tying some leaves into that guy. It's not going to happen. If I have a painting and I feel, oh, it needs more, more drippies, it needs, and, and I'm afraid of what somebody's going to say, it's stifling. You're no longer a painter. You're, you're a slave to people on the outside. You're a slave to them, trying to please them. <laughs> yes. Don't be a slave. Get up here and play. Almost one hour. Almost one hour. Cool. Is that a hint <laughs> for me to get out of it? I'm putting a little more. I'm putting a little more in your stuff. Mmm. Look at those drips. On the bottom. I'm going to come in here. Stan Brown is watching. Stan, aren't you in Vegas? You're supposed to be in Vegas with Sue. Yes, they are. Are they? Yep. So is Valerie Stewart. Yeah, but she's not watching, is she? Yeah. Valerie Stewart? She a day off from class. Valerie Stewart no. is watching? Yeah, she's, I just sent a message. Oh, great. Stan, hey, Sue. Boy, I tell you, we're the last of the Mohegans, Stan, Sue. You're rich. <laughs> the original TV yeah, we're the original. The original TV people from the early eighties. Yeah, Kathy's right. We're the original. Where did that? Where did the time go, Sue? I don't know. Remember doing stuff at PBS. Remember when we were working? Maybe you still are working with uh, Martin F. Weber. I don't know. No. No, I don't know. Anyway, times have changed. Now everything is this, this kind of stuff. Everything is our, we're doing online and the orders are coming in. I got up early this morning to see, did anybody sign up? Does anybody love us? <laughs> and we turned it on and I saw a few come in and then a few more and then a few more. And I went in and I said, Catherine, wake up. We got people. <laughs> that was cool. Here I'm coming down to the bottom and putting in. So trying to finish up because you can't leave it just skimpy on the bottom. And this is where maybe some of our drippies will come in. Now I have. Uh, to look at the original, I don't know if you can see down below. You see the drippies over there? Uh huh. Right in through here. I have some drippies. Oh, look at the there's drippies here. Yeah. Hmm. Drippies give a a nice feeling to me. Let's go down to the bottom. And. Right in here, you can see how El Blanco it does look. I just need something small. I'm going to just do a little. Something. Sometimes to get something going, you have to destroy what you have. Are you willing to do that? <laughs> no. I worked hard at doing that. Yeah. Some weights in there. In here? Whites. Bright whites. Yeah. Okay. Kathy says lights. White. White. Oh, white. 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 She wants white. She got white. <laughs> white drip down there a little. And let it drip. All right. Let's see what it does. Oop. Get that brush wet. Push down and let her go. And then you sit and you watch it. And you go, oh my God, that looks crummy. 
<laughs> oh, look at that. Why did he do that? I liked it before he did all that stuff. Now it's going, oh my God. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, help me, somebody. Bring me some wine to kind of dull my senses so I don't have to look at this thing. Help me. <laughs> I'm going to come in here and take that. Show them how they can always sweep up from the bottom with a blender. Too, sure. If they want to make it fade out more. But I'm bottom. having too much fun. Show them how they can sweep it up. Sweep it up. I'm dying up here. With a blender. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Kathy says I'm overdoing it. Mark Perry says drips don't work for me. No, I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, know. I know. Well, okay. Yeah, this happened. But you have to know that when you try stuff, it's not like, oh my God, what do I... It's ruined. Oh well, all this works down the toilet. What am I going to do? Take your towel, get in there, hit it. Who knows what's going to happen? Hit it, hit it. Hit it, honey. Get in there. Wipe it back. Hit it, hit that. Sometimes things happen. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh yes. Now it's coming back. If you don't like those drips, take them out. Or just hit the towel. Get some texture in there. Do something. There. You see... Creativity lives in all of us. If you're just willing to get in and mess up. Because you can always bring it back. You see, you can mess up all you want. Nobody's going to get in your brain and take out the knowledge that you have. Yeah, I like those. You like that? Yeah, leaves. Leaves, it needs leaves. We're here? You just put them in the painting needed leaves. Yeah. Thank you. What would I do without you there? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there, there, there. You see this stuff in here? You see this? Can you see this? Right in there. People look, get their nose up to the canvas, because uh, I used to do this. I used to wonder, how, how did they get the brush to do all that little stuff? Well, they didn't. It happened because they were brave enough just to get in and mess around. So you get this feeling of, of what they call fine arty stuff. You know, all those, those snobby, <laughs> snobby fine art galleries. That you're in. That, yeah, so well, snobby, so well, I can't, yeah, I shouldn't say snobby, because I'm, I'm, I'm in with the snobbies. By the way, you're going to be a featured artist. Yeah, I'm going to be a featured artist at for the, two uh, for two months at the, <laughs> at the gallery. Down, yeah. I can't call them snobby anymore. Oh, well. Yeah. Highbrow. Highbrow. Even that doesn't sound right. Are you back then? Can I not play? Uh, it's over an hour. Are you afraid that I'm going to overwork? Uh -huh. Which I do. How does that look, guys? Okay. What do you think out there? Am I finished or should I do more to it? You guys tell me. I don't know. Again, I think I'm stopping at a good place. Well, you know, there's the there's the one I work from there. Ooh, kind of the colors yeah. popping on that flower there. That looks like a and there. Looks like a face, eyes, nose, forehead, cheeks. <laughs> what is that? Everybody's seen faces. They're seeing faces in the gold leaf. I know. The pattern, the gold well, leaf. you see stuff. Alexi says done. Yes, finished. Sir. Really? Yes. Ah. Uh, Wait, wait. Okie dokie. It is pretty, it, it comes out, it's a really a lot more vibrant than it shows on camera. Oh. 
a, a lady just said she likes this one better. The white, a skeleton. What does that mean? I don't know. Do, do. Uh, oh, okay. I'm here just kind of looking at it, but I think it's cool. I might add more stuff to it later. I don't know. But for now, Catherine is going to come on and talk to you a little bit about our e-course coming up with all our, yeah, our uh, e-course. So uh, let me put Catherine on. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me work through this painting. I just love working with color. I could maybe let, you know, you guys can let these paintings dry a little and still go in and add little touches here and there to really take it over the top. I didn't even use my finger in this one. I usually use my finger. No room for orbs. <laughs> Do we want orbs? No, nope, there's no room. In oh, this I one. could have. Eh, eh, no, I better not. No. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to have to give Catherine my microphone. And switch chairs. So there, and switch chairs. Uh, I'm going to leave this on the canvas for a minute. And I'm going to, now this might get a little staticky for you when I change this mic over. Tight squeeze. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can look at the iPad too. Okay. Watch. Okay, dokie. <laughs> there she is. Hi, guys. How are y'all today? A lot of you have tuned in for Gary's crazy impressionistic painting. He doesn't usually go that wild and wonderful, but it is a, it's a beauty and it is going to be for sale if uh, any of you would like it. It's, uh, it's going to be for sale when it dries and I get it varnished. So you can just email us if you're interested. So um, I want to let you know the news. I got to put on my glasses here. And I've got my notes, so I don't miss anything. Uh, as you know, as a lot of you know, uh, a lot of you uh, know that um, our online course, we've been working on it for a year and a half, and we've been anxiously anticipating that uh, the launch day, and it was going to be March 1st. Well, uh, we got ready for it early, our tech guy and, and camera guy and everything, and an advertising guy, got it ready early, much to our surprise, we just found out a few days ago. So uh, we have started signing people up now, so the course is launched as of uh, yesterday. And so if you're interested in reading about the course, you can read all about it on our website, and that's www.jenkinsartstudio.com. And you can read all about it and see some video clips and, and some partial little clips of the paintings that we did on the course, um, and that's our website. And you also go to our website uh, to see the sign up button, and that will take you to the form to fill out and subscribe to the course. And <clears throat> Be sure, and if you're thinking of signing up, and catch the early bird sign-up period. That's just going to go for two months until uh, May 1st. From now until May 1st, and the early bird savings is going to be $60. And then after that, the price is going to go up. Um, the price is going to go up to the to the regular price. So be sure and get in on the early bird um, sign-up. And then. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'll just briefly uh, go over the uh, what's in the course, and then of course you can read all about everything, all the details on our website. And there is eight full paintings, painting videos. They're each about two to three hours long. I 
I did one of the paintings and Gary did seven of the paintings and they're all for 1418 or 16 by 20 canvases and you'll also get a separate information technique video that I did and that's four hours long a really long one and I go really really slow and by the way um, on our online course as Gary mentioned before, it is done um, high definition with professional uh, videographers and lighting, not like these little live streams that we do just with our our camera and our and our silly lighting that we don't like too well in our studio. But um, they're all done professionally. We hired professionals, so you're going to see tons of close up work, really close up, and. Uh, uh, just really good camera work and Gary and I both go very very slow on the course not fast like on the live streams we show the technique and the paintings um, all the strokes on the paintings very very slow and they're not quite as impressionistic as today's painting they're 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 not photo realistic flower by the way they're flower still lifes Flo the whole course is flowers floral still life and they're not photorealistic, real, real tight, but they're not as loose as today's painting. So they're um, kind of in between. So yeah, the painting, uh, one of the paintings that I did, Gary's handing it to me. Um, I hope you can see this okay. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So um, this is a painting I did a while back and I posted it up on Facebook and I got so many good uh, responses, positive responses. Everybody seemed to really like it. And I mentioned that that time I might do it on the live, on the online course. Well, I did end up doing it on the online course. And this is it. And this is the one I did out of the eight paintings uh, that we did. This is the one that I did on the online course. So I hope you like it. It's got every flower, uh, everything but the kitchen sink in here a glass vase, tons of flowers, English roses, and a candlestick and candle, and a drape. I mean, it's it's got the whole work. So that's the one of the full paintings, and the rest of the clips of the paintings that we do, little bits and pieces, that's on our website for you to see. And when you go to our website, make sure you go to the e-course page, e-course page. So let's see what else. Um, this is worldwide. People have been asking, emailing like crazy and asking if they can get it in different countries. It is in English language, but it is available worldwide to anyone that has access to high-speed internet. So that's really important to have high-speed internet um, access. Uh, let's see, we did that. Um, so that's about, you could read all the rest about the course on our eCourse page on our website. Again, that's www.facebook.com. Uh, no, excuse me, that's Facebook. Huh, backtrack, i give you our website again. www.jenkinsartstudio.com. Now, um, I have a new business uh, Facebook page, and I'd love for you to go and um, uh, push the like button, and that you'll become a friend. If you're not already a friend of ours, you'll become a friend on that, because our Gary's Facebook page, we've reached the maximum uh, for friends that you can have on a private page. So a lot of people, uh, I think we have 600 people that have emailed um, at sent a fa Facebook request to us that I haven't been able to respond to, but I'm telling everybody now to go to my page, and if you just push the like button, you'll become our friend. And my page, Facebook page, is fb. Dot me. That's m e slash Catherine Jenkins Studio. So that's my Facebook page. And we also have our paintings and the live stream paintings and other demos and some of our older TV paintings on uh, YouTube. So we'd really appreciate it if you'd go to YouTube and our Facebook pages and um, give us uh, likes and subscribe to our YouTube. What? 
and subscribe to our YouTube um, page. Um, that would be great. We really, really appreciate your support. Gary and I have been in this business for 50 years, uh, teaching and doing TV for almost 40 years, national and international teaching and doing our TV show for about 36 years. So if it wasn't for you guys out there, we wouldn't be able to keep working at our old, old age, <laughs> still working seven days a week. But this is our passion and um, we love this business. And if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for your support. So um, I guess that's about all. Um, the main thing, the, the big news today was that our online course is open to subscribe now. It's been a long time coming. It's been a year and a half since we first announced that we were going to do this. This is our first course. And we, if, with, if this is successful, which it looks like it's going to be, uh, we are already thinking about what we're going to do for the next course. And it's going to be completely different subject matter. Um, something that Gary and I, another thing you might uh, know what it is. I can't give that out now, but it's another subject that Gary and I love. And that's our other favorite subject besides florals. But um, we're thinking about that now, and it'll take a while to plan it. But um, I hope you enjoy this first course. And um, whatever you do, just keep painting, 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 practice, pa practice. And um, keep painting with love and joy in your heart. And always paint with passion. Thank you, guys. Bye.